games. It's spring 2017. We've been doing a wee bit of videoing with you guys throughout the winter just to show what contractors get up to when they're not at grass. <laughs> what is your main enterprises other than silage? Slurry and hedges. Um, we clean hen houses out too and we have sown and grass seed and plowing and dung. And we have a crusher too, so we have a digger. Well, we caught up with you at the hedges. There was two hedge cutters running, and you also have a saw on a digger. Yep, that's right. Are they are they very busy throughout the? Oh, they're flat out. The hedge cutters, uh, you could keep free going if you can get a good enough man to drive the furden, but they're scarce to get. A rumor told me that your father said he can do the work of two men on one anyway. Well, that'll be right, aye. <laughs> <laughs> he would tell you that and do an elephant anyway. <laughs> He's, he's one of the only men I know who's managed to get paid for 25 hours in one day. Uh, he said right. he worked through his lunch, so he was entitled to it. <laughs> 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 what hedge cutters do you run then? Uh, McCall's. And is there any reason you run them, or they just... No, they leave a nice finish in the hedge. We've tried a whole lot of different cutters, and we not, can't go on like the McCall yet. That's, he's been cutting 40 years, so he would really need to know what one's the right one now. You kind of have to give him what he wants then. Uh, that's right. You've tried something new within this last year. You've branched out a wee bit and you're doing a bit of rock crushing. Explain to us a little bit of what's going on there, what you have or what you bought. I have a herbs crusher there now at the minute, so I have. Aye, we've got a right wee bit of work with it there. It's a different kind of work. It's a uh, fill in the wet days. Even the summertime or wetter days that you can't be away doing other work with regulations, you can maybe away doing that. So we have now. Uh, and it's a trail machine, obviously, runs behind. Aye, a trail machine, aye. PTO driven it is. And does it take much power to driver? It doesn't take a lot of power to drive it now. It's a different kind of work, and they're a big market for that out of there, for the wheeler crusher, you know. There are a pile of jobs that boys demolishing houses, you know, it takes a lot of money to shift the big crusher on a lorry, you know, you can nip man with that machine and do it, and nothing said about it and go on. Well, that's that. Once you look at a bigger crusher, then you're getting up into big that's weights right, and aye. transporting and stuff. It's just getting the right machine. How many John Deere's is in your current fleet? I think there's seven. And you have a blue one there somewhere? One blue one, yes, aye. And your forager is? John Deere. And she's an 8-4? 8-4, aye. You weren't tempted to go for an 8-8? I would be, aye, aye. Maybe not this day. But... Maybe after this season? Maybe, maybe after this season, maybe next one, maybe see, see how um, we get on. The most exciting bit of plant that you've maybe bought lately within the agriculture slurry spreading equipment is you're one of the first guys to get one of these new 12 metre dribble bars from James O'Kane. That's quit. right, aye, that's right. And you're all set up with the GPS and all now. How's that going for oh, you? Oh, brilliant. So as, as start, I'd be, I'd be sort of stupid a wee bit. You know, it'd take me a while to, <laughs> to get uh, on to a <laughs> thing. So it'd be, but it takes a while to sense. But and Burr's there, they're actually surprised to well I caught on to it. They said, <laughs> anyway, no, it's a great job. I wouldn't work without it. I'd actually recommend more boys should be here using it to tell you the truth. What sort of a system have you got? Are you on the basic, are you still driving or is that steering itself? Oh, that's or? steering itself, full auto steer. So as you just hit the button, let her go up the field. And, and what are you spreading with? A 6145R John Deere. How long have you had this 12 metre dribble bar in the go? I would now? have it uh, maybe end of February, middle of February. What did you work with before? A 7.5 metre acre crap dribbling bar. So, oh, so you've jumped from 7.5 up to 12. Mm -hmm. And how does that work? Is there one macerator in that or there two? There are two macerators on it now. Uh, there are one on each side. Uh, it's a great job for the ends. You're turning the ends, you can shut half her off and then shut the other half on or off, set your sail, you know. You were one of the first contractors to invest in Heron Tankers, if I'm right? Uh, aye, one of them, aye. How have they done for you? They've done perfect well now, aye. They're a great tanker now. We at Abbey, Solar Day, and usually if something works well, it does well, and then we do issue, and then Wally just come in at the right time. And <laughs> I see your, your tandem axles there are 2,900 gallons. If you were changing again, would you go bigger, or what do you I think? I don't know or? if I would or not. Uh, we always said we'd like three and a half, but we can get away in the field. 
around the field in a less compaction, we can get away better in the field. I don't know, I'll tell you the truth. So uh, you're still doing quite a bit of field spreading. Yes, I do so a bit of both. So I get what you're saying. You can, it was purely for ferry and you would Oh, buy four for the half cent, so what it was. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to hook on any pipes you're working with. The DCA arm on them all, aye. Uh, we used to do that years ago, jump out and out and hook a pipe on, but the men didn't like it. <laughs> didn't like getting their hands dirty. Oh, yeah, that's that. Well, you can't fault it. was a long day jumping out and out, hooking the pipe on and off two or three times, but that's a great job. We have that here maybe it's 11 years now, I think it is, in the tankers. And they've, they've lasted the time? Them tankers there is there four years, so they've done six years. You may, oh, they're bits of work had to be done to them, no wear, it's wear and tear. As we hit springtime now, month and a half or so now before silage starts, what's all left to do in the contract? Oh, we have a world of ploughing and sowing, and they'll be sown out and uh, dung, a lot of dung spread, serious, a lot of dung spread. Your father was spreading one day just outside Gloryford. What do you use to spread with? We use a K2. Uh, we have done this 13 years. Uh, other boys have come up with the buy spreaders. I'm friendly with my boy Richard Irwin. Funny, I was the reason how he got started to sell the spreaders. I bought his first spreader off him. I was over, he bought a spreader and it got root off, and then he says, I'm bringing an R, and he says, would you be interested in it? And I said, I would. And other men said to me about buying different spreaders, and the thing I like about Richard's spreader is something did go wrong. In fact, machines is not perfect, and you do get foreign objects. I can take her down, hook her off, and I'm going again inside an R. I get another spreader, so. And it's been a sort of long time friendship there too, so that's why I'll stay like that, I would say. And plus, they are a good spreader. There's no point in running down either, they're a great spreader too. This company, DJ McCann Sons, not just a, a sunny weather company. No, no. We were out one day videoing the digger, and uh, it wasn't taking time to rain, but the digger was carrying on. It has to carry on. Well, when you're out round the neck, you do anything. <laughs> <laughs> we do a lot of soil work now. Our digger is really busy now. Yeah, really, really. I would love another digger. It's the uh, same again. It's, when you need another man. The digger's as good as the man's on it. That's what type of digger do you run then? Hitachi, uh, 135 uh, sexes. 2015, we brought you out the 234 Valtra to have a look at. Now we know you're hardcore John Deere man, but what was your thoughts on that Valtra tractor? She was a lovely tractor to drive. They would be a good enough tractor I couldn't see much wrong with her. There was, I don't know my mind, I was afraid that your direct drive a wee bit, you know, you dab the gears. But for me to go to buy that, she need to be a lot cheaper than a John Deere. Sure, she's on the same money, and the day you buy, the day you sell, so that'd be the way I would look at it. In your head, and in your opinion, John Deere's just that step ahead. It would be, I Even for second hand value, you know, that tractor will need to be a lot less to make you think about going to it. But from, purely from, and it was only it was only here, and you, you had it carting uh, silage for a day with the, the, the big hair and trailer. It's a lovely tractor, it was a nice tractor now to drive. Just, you, you, it's different to start, and you get onto a thing you're not used to, you're used to your own, and then the time you get onto it, you get, it's a lovely tractor to drive now, so she was. But you wouldn't turn your nose up at trying one again? No, I wouldn't turn my nose up, no. Sure, if the boy talks right, you'll try anything.